Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about or play games and today we're going to be playing Super Mario 64. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and took down a tyrant that was terrorizing the townspeople of Womp's Fortress. I couldn't find another T word. Now to the top of the fortress we go. It seems like they've built a grave for the King Womp and we're just going to go ahead and rob it. <laughs> Uh, that sounds bad, but we, what you want to do is just head to where King Womp was before. And there's a tower here now. And also, Bullet Bill is here. It's the only time he appears in the game, and we're just going to pass by him. And you can climb the tower here. Just need to make sure they do this very precisely or else you will fall and if if this is a grave for king womp then like why the weird platforms Here we go. anyways back into the level our third star we're going to get is shoot into the wild blue so this one is super interesting because it's just over in seconds like for some reason that's a running theme so far is that the third star is finished in mere seconds because the first one all you had to do was hop in the cannon the first third star all you had to do was hop in the cannon and then shoot over to the star and in this one we also just hop into the cannon and shoot right on over to the star I miss <laughs> An interesting thing you can do though with Shoot Into the Wild Blue is the speedrun tactic, which is you can just wall jump up this wall and you get the star. Red coins on the floating aisle. Another theme is that the fourth level is always a red coin level. There are, ver there are very few exceptions. I think like Tiny Huge Island later in the game. Which, uh, that's coming up soon. If you haven't played this game before, uh, I guess thanks for choosing me as your first time experiencing this game. It's a very good game. Uh, it obviously hasn't, like, aged well, like, graphically. Um, but that doesn't matter to me. I still love the heck out of this game. Coin 3. This one's super easy. All of the stars in... Womp's Fortress are super easy. That was a really cool trick, I don't know how I did that. Also, let me introduce you to a really fun challenge that some people do. It's called the Green Demon Challenge, where basically, go into the level, do not collect any red coins, climb up this pole, and this one-up will appear and chase you around, and the challenge is to collect all eight red coins and collect the star before it touches you. It's called the Green Demon Challenge. I don't know if I mentioned that already. Uh, I haven't ever tried it myself. I guess that's something fun I can do as like a bonus video or something like that. We collect red coins seven and eight. And our next star appears. We can use that strategy we learned earlier on how not to take fall damage. And we get star number 8, and when we collect the star, something super cool happens. You've recovered 8 of the power stars. Now you can open the door with a big star. But Bowser's just ahead. Can you hear the princess calling? So now we can go fight Bowser for the first time. There are 3 Bowser fights total. The first one you get for 8 stars, the second one you get for 30 stars, and the final one you get for 70 stars. I'll just be going for a 70 star playthrough here, because I feel like I could make it unfun by trying to 100% because there are some pretty tough stars in this game. Hey look, it's a painting of the princess, maybe that's where she's being hell low. <laughs> You've stepped right into my trap, just as I knew you would. I warn you, friend. Watch your step. So yeah, this is the first Bowser level. You have to actually fight your way up to the very top before you fight him. It's 
kind of poetic in a way. You fight your way through the level before you fight your foe. I have, I feel like I have good ideas, I'm just awful at wording them. Like, it sounded sort of poetic in my head, and then I actually tried to say it out loud and realized I sound like a crazy person. <laughs> we have the seesaws here, which are pretty easy to get past. There's a red coin star here, uh, but I'll get to that later. Uh, you should... Normally you'd have to press this button to get up there because it'll turn into some stairs. You could just, well, you could just triple jump up it, and you're all good. Tough luck, Mario. Princess Toadstool isn't here. Gwaha! Go ahead, just try to grab me by the tail. You'll never be able to swing me around. A wimp like you won't throw me out of here. Never. Ha! And we grab his tail. So yeah, we have to swing him around, and... It's a very... infamous voice line. I don't know how I failed that. Uh, interesting glitch, though, is if you grab him by the tail, and put him in front of you, and you drop him, and then stand in front of him, and press the punch button, you can just grab him again and just push him into the bomb. Ugh, I was a bit careless, but this is not as I had planned. I have a weird voice for him. I, I'm kind of going into a pirate voice, but I still hold the power stars, and I still have Peach. <laughs> You'll get no more stars from me. I'm not finished with you yet, but I'll make you go for now. Or I'll let you go for now. You'll pay for this later. And we get the key to the basement. So we've unlocked the first floor, the second floor, and the basement all within the first three episodes. I think that's pretty good, so I'll go ahead and end off the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and see what else there is to do. Maybe we'll ret return to Womp's Fortress and possibly even unlock the thing that allows us to head back to bob -omb Battlefield and finish that off. Whatever we do, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye